as this video starts. General Johnson is being rushed by two army medics into a hospital. As Private Boss rushes alongside, screaming, the General, you told me to. You told me to. Yes, this is a kick out the crutch of the amateurs video. It's about those amateurs who have been in the way of my work. Yeah, involves price complexes and all that kind of stuff. In the way of my work for a very long time. My work comes from the professionals of the streets. And this kick out the crutch video is for all who work on the streets. Remember what my definition of the streets is. Can't reach me by phone, mail, or internet. And that blatant censorship is the news. Yeah, that's the streets. This is a message to all street groups working that unseen business. From the egghead type groups to the oriental groups. Oh, are there a lot of them? To the military, to just your average grunts on the street. From the generals of that, those groups to the privates. This applies to all. It affects you wherever you go on the streets in this world. You see, the General Johnson insists has always insisted on blind obedience. He drives that point home every chance he gets. Blind obedience from his men, from his privates. From all in between him and the privates. He demanded that time and time again, but he's rubbed some folks the wrong way. And, uh, yeah, the favorite thing of the groups on the streets, the old switcheroo. Someone placed. Someone who looks just like General Johnson in his shoes. And that blind obedience, it's real good when you want someone to take a hill in a military battle. Run through flying bullets and, and subdue the enemy, take the hill. You need that kind of blind obedience. But in certain cases, you want your men to think for themselves, to use logic, especially in unseen business kind of things. And that person, impersonating a general, told Private Ballsy, Son, I'm going to go to the PX. When I get back, I want you to cut that item off of me. That item and those two items below that uh, got him in trouble. Working with an impersonator, the one and only John Milton Brady. I'm here 24-7. Work every day at this place in Santa Monica. Every day I'm supposed to. A couple days a week right now. I'm there every night. In room 433 of the Baltimore. Waiting on attractive young ladies. Street resources and cash. To do my work properly. And anyway, the general told him. Private Ballsy. And, you know, he kind of was hesitant. But the general insisted. He said, what do I always say? And that is what got the general in trouble. Now, for all of you in military and non-military groups, get the one and only. His money, resources, or hot blondes, and hot blondes. Well, look for the mean folks at the top of the street to act that out, left and right. Especially with those of you lying to everybody that comes to L.A. about me. Climb six blocks east of Tallest Thing in L.A. Let's get to work, guys. We've got Christ complexes to build. We need lessons and examples that will last for millennia. Step up, guys.